Um, we've got a quorum anyway. We've got it's recording, so let me just pull. Uh, police crime speed watch SID updates. Anything at all? Nothing at all. Okay, so I'll speak to uh, Bob once I've spoken to Richard about this, the SID. Okay. okay, correspondence received? Nothing received other than that that you've received by email. Okay. So no, nothing, nothing that wasn't emailed to you. Let's put it that okay. Way. Um, finance and payments? Well, finance and payments, just a couple of things to say there. We, I sent the payments list out yesterday, and that just lists the payments that Colin and I and Bob will authorise with Unity Trust. Um, and, the, and the, basically the audit is the only other, the only financial matter. The audit um, has been completed on the internal audit and the papers have been sent to the external auditor now. So we're actually all up together on finance. We've got a bit behind on the audit with the, uh, with the various problems, but we've got there in the end. So that's all in order now. But nothing else on, on, on payments, everything else is straightforward. The internet banking is working really well. Not having any problems on that at all. Um, it's much easier, much more straightforward. You're happy the way everything's going? Brilliant. It's yeah. so much easier. Yeah. Wish we'd done it 12 months ago. Uh, <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, this, um, um, so do you want us to agree anything, Owen, or pass anything? No, there's, there's nothing that needs agreeing on this one, actually. Um, we say all the paperwork was agreed last month on the on the audit. Um, uh, the only oh, there is one thing actually, which I've just just noticed: the honorarium for the two lady gardeners. Are we happy to proceed and make a payment to those two ladies? We pay them hundred they... pounds each normally. Pay okay, what? Sorry. We pay them a hundred pounds each normally for their gardening services. Yeah. Andrea. Andrea. I'd like to suspend that payment as um, I think we're in a, a bit of hot water about those um, flower beds at the moment. If if um, we're not going to be allowed to put them because they're not a meter away from the highway, it doesn't seem very prudent to spend money on them if we're going to be asked to, to remove them all. No, I uh, I can understand that. The the what uh, they're doing at the moment though is um, um, yes. uh, we're, we're, we're Thank you. is going there each day. She's carrying water well, well, to maintain yeah. those sites, mm -hmm. and I, I think notwithstanding that they may well be in the wrong place, they are still maintaining them. Uh, I guess you want to say just don't do any work on them and let let all the flowers die that are mm. there i think would be rather sad so i can that understand would... i can understand what he's saying andrea but it it's not a gardener's problem it's our problem with highways the way that's i read yeah that's fair um, enough i think but i um, i i think it was a very very lame excuse that came from um Whatever his name was, um, Liam. Liam, yeah, Thank you. very poor. It's, it's just an excuse not not to cough up the money because somebody's carelessness, because they're big mm -hmm. enough to be seen. Surely, mm. you wouldn't m mow over them, would you? Well, and, the, and there's a great big, you know, Brent Knoll sign right next to it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I just think it was uh, just uh, careless, and also. An excuse not to cough up money for to us, so we shall have to pay for it. <laughs> That's well, my I, opinion. I, I'll, I'll be guided by everyone else, but um, the, there are two issues here. I think uh, um, one, the girls are doing the work and have got the plants and are maintaining them, but notwithstanding that, there is a problem of sighting um and john um i think you've got an account for some money to come through for actually replacing the damaged one is that right yes owen has got it what cost that I, I i have got that 
So and how much is that? Seventy-nine pounds. To actually repair the whole thing. And replant it, everything. And replant. Well, I'll, I'll be guided by. Andrea suggested that we would um, withhold these payments until a such time. In that case, I think it would only be fair to tell the girls not to water the plants or not not to care for them because they're not being paid to do it. That's the problem. Well, it's pity for the plant, I, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be happy about them not being watered or looked after. No, no. Sorry, Andrea? I said I, I wouldn't be happy that what we have got is not watered and looked after. I mean, that just no, seems to be... I agree with you. ...even more ridiculous, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, and they I, do look today. Yeah, I, I think we should help the lady gardeners do what we ask them to do. But at the same time, I think we've got to go th and bottom out what, where we are at fault or right or wrong with the positioning of the planters. Brian? It would be interesting to find out if there is actually anything in writing somewhere in the archives that states that things like that should be put uh, somewhere, you know, so many metres away from wherever. Um, I would be, I'd be very doubtful if there was. Is there any way we could find out? Well, it's, it's yeah. highway. It's a highway thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But, but is, is there anything in writing? Yeah, there's a yeah, I mean, if you look, if you look at the email response, it's actually in there from Highways. Yeah, but it's a Highways issue, and the thing is, with street furniture, if they're not licensed or we haven't got a license, yeah. if anyone crashes into something, then technically we're liable as well. Is yeah. that right, Paul? Yeah. Exactly. Well, is that is that official? What was put in that email? Or was it some person's opinion? No, I mean, well, certainly, normally, if, if you're working on the edge of the highway and putting up structures, you you will generally have permission. So, certainly, one I know that we did do a number of years ago. You know, the the bollards that go along by the gas box. We had to get permission from yeah. the the highways to put those in. Well, it seems to me that uh, we've got to go through the process and agree the size yeah. of these boxes. And probably at the end of the season, when the plants have died off, then we uh, look at what we've got to do, either reduce them in size or reposition them. Recite them, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that, that would seem with, to be... With permission from highways. Yes, yes. <laughs> with, with permission from highways, Warwick, I agree with you. Yeah. So... Um, uh, so we've got we've got uh, three things now. One, we've got to pay for the repairs to the one that's broken. Yeah. We've got to consider paying the the ladies uh, mm -hmm. 100 pounds each for maintaining them, and we've got to um, uh, uh, agree with highways where we should actually site these boxes and uh, either confirm that they're okay or negotiate where they are to be placed going forward those are the three issues is a, 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 we all in agreement with those issues oh well, yeah. and i would i would suggest before we actually try and repair the the first one we actually get a form of agreement from all ways replacing something yeah i think john's already gone and done it already already yeah done. he's already done it with, without the knowledge of from highways, Warwick, I must admit, yeah. So, can 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 those um, um, do we have to agree the payment to John now, Owen? Well, we do. We we have delegated powers, of course, anyway under finance. But I thought this was a, an unusual item, so it was better better than right to bring it to the meeting. But um, okay. I, you know, we do now. We've got it on the agenda. We we ought to approve it or not. Approve okay. It, you think. Okay. So, uh, first of all, then, can we agree to oh, pay? Please, oh, Bob, Bob? We're only going to say if, if we are going to be voting on, on paying John money, then mm. John needs to be careful about his position in terms of pecuniary yes. interest. Because obviously, if we, if we hadn't been voting on that, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. But 
but if we are now, then we're not actually voting on John's payment. We're only voting on the honorarium. Oh, okay. All right. That's all. Okay. So yeah. let's deal with the so two issues then. One we, we're going to take forward dealing with highways, and the other one is: Do we pay the gardeners? for a hundred pounds each for maintaining the boxes. Um, Feelings on that, John, uh, Malcolm? Yes, okay. Yeah, Malcolm's okay with that. All right. Bob? If you need a proposal, I'm happy to propose it. That, that we pay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but Bob has proposed seconder. Brian, okay, yeah. all those in favor? Okay. That's carried then. So the girls get the money and we'll take it up with highways going forward. Yeah. I'll deal with that. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Um, emergency shop. Is there an update on that at all? Not really. Um, everybody's aware of, you know, it has been successful and we've had ongoing dialogue with the steering group on a few issues. But the only thing that's come up from it recently has been the use of our telephone kiosk or storage of papers and bottles. Um, but in fact, that's something which we need to consider for the future um, and whether we want to allow them to continue to use it or not. We have been, we've had a request from David Sturges that it is used for putting papers in at the end of the day, waiting collection for, from the newspaper wholesaler. And the same in the morning, they're delivered to the kiosk ready for the day's trading. So we have to decide whether we're happy for them to use it for that purpose or any other purpose for that matter. Um, I, I wouldn't be happy for papers to go in there. There could be a fire risk, certainly. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking. Bottles are right, but not papers. <laughs> yeah. In my opinion. My, my, initial thought when I, my initial thought was to say to, to, to David Sturgis, really, that anything that was not inflammable, like, for example, plastic bottles, was not so much of an issue, but papers were. That was how I was yeah. thinking. Well, papers used to be left in the foyer, didn't they? Mm. To be collected. Yes, they mm. So, what's wrong with that? It wouldn't look very attractive, would it, with a pile of papers? I know, but. but um, no, I don't mean outside the shop. I mean in the in the uh, telephone but, kiosk. No, no, no. Nigel. Nigel. Yeah. Nigel. I don't think plastic bottles either. They're, they're, they're even worse than paper um, with regards to uh, fire. For sure, yeah. paper will burn, but um, plastic also. If, if some person decided to be uh, stupid and set fire to it, then um, it mm -hmm. would be more damaging. Yeah. yeah. Bob? Bob? Just to mention that the, the bottles that are in there, it may, it may be worse than plastic, but it's glass. Yeah. It, it's, uh, they're, they're glass bottles that are stored. Oh, yes, they are. Okay, okay. So it's plastic. They're, um, they're due to review the shop, and uh, I think it's, isn't it mid-June they're due to review the shop, Bob? Uh, it's future, yeah. and probably we should um, see what they're going to do from March going onwards, and then um, maybe decide formally. I mean, I, I must admit, I, I don't like the telephone box being used for that. It's not the intended purpose. Um, and um, mm. it, it uh, yeah. you know, if that telephone box wasn't there, they would have had to make alternative arrangements themselves with a, some form of box or something outside. Warwick? What is the intended purpose of the telephone box? Ah. Well, we, I was rather hoping to we, sell it. We haven't got one, have we? Except that I suggested it could be moved to the village green as a as an icon of mid twentieth yeah. century, which I <laughs> I know you laugh at, but I think it'd be a good idea because mm -hmm. red against green, they're both complementary colours. <laughs> well, well uh, that's all. If you go to the go to the, um, like um, uh, Croft yeah. House Garden. Sorry, we could go to the Croft House Garden. <laughs> the, the <cr> <laughs> yeah. that, would that be your TARDIS? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. blue. <laughs> and uh, it would be sealed, sealed up so nobody could get trapped inside it. No, oh, it would have him locked I, in. Sorry? Could I suggest a deferral until the shop future is considered? 
because yeah. of course it stands on freehold shop property at the moment. If the shop gets <laughs> sold, then of course we'd have yes. to move it anyway, quite yeah. possibly. Okay. So is that the time to take a decision on it? Right. My yeah. view. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, fencing on the green, John. Oh, can I just say one other thing? Malcolm just passed Sorry. on. He wants to just make it make it noted that he felt that the the Sturgis David Sturgis is uh, comments in the BKN regarding the emergency shot were rather negative. Um, he feels that they were bearing in mind what, and to be honest with you, I haven't read it in that much detail, but I don't know what anybody else feels. None of us have probably read it. <laughs> 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 All those hours of work editing it, and have you read it? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's just Malcolm's comment, that's all. <clears throat> okay. Fencing. John. <coughs> nothing, nothing to report, really. I put out an email to everybody, giving everybody a full report. The one on the left has been done, and we're waiting the one on the right to be done in September. You sound as if you were in a submarine, John. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow one. <laughs> yeah. It might be a phone box. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, John. Um, Battleborough Lane uh, post gates. Um, no, no update. I'm sorry, I can't get hold of the contractor yet. I'm not sure whether he's back at work. I have no idea, but I'll keep trying him. So sorry about that. Um, Bodies Lane footpath clearance. Um, I've written to both uh, Sally Wingate and Karen and asked them to sign um, uh, agreements that we can do the work. I've now got them back. So it's, I'm, we really need to decide how it's going to be done. Either um, we employ uh, someone to do it, lay the stone. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I need your advice on that, really. Owen. And at the last meeting, David uh, very kindly agreed to do the job. But then, of course, it has implications because of David's role on the parish council. Um, so what uh, we came up with was a possible way forward is to actually get Jason to take on the contract. And then who he gets to do the work is entirely a matter of him. So he will obviously use, he may well use David, he may use somebody else. But we give the contract to to, to David to Jason Mayo to do the work, and then after that, we just simply pay we pay him the, the, the fee for doing it, which which is whatever fee he comes back with. Does that sound like a a way of getting David off the sort of hopping away? Because David can't do it as a parish councillor. Uh, yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, that's fine to me. Uh, it, we, have, we, have a similar, we have a similar arrangement at the moment because Jason at the moment employs David Knott to do the Crooked Lane hedging once a year. And we employ Jason to do that, but in fact he gets he, he in fact subcontracts it to David to David. Um, so that's the same sort of arrangement as we're talking here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how do you feel about that? Um yes, I'm I'm quite uh, quite happy, but uh, I, I'm concerned what the best time is the year to do this work. Um, Sally Wingate has also asked us to do another area, which I'm a bit hesitant about because I'm not sure whether it is our, actually our responsibility. Um, and I need to go and have a look at the area um, that's in question. Um, so I, I a conversation needs to be had with David Knott uh, and Jason to yeah. see how we can do it and when the best time is to do it. Yeah. So uh, um, if you could speak to Jason, okay. Owen, yeah, I'll speak to Jason. and I'll try and speak to David Knott okay. in the meantime to see what his thoughts are. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. Thank you. Um, next one, co-option process, Owen. Well, basically what's happened is we've now moved to the co-option process because um, we had the notice up in the notice boards for the 14 day statutory period. Nobody came forward um, requesting an election with 10 people. 
Um, so we now go to a co-option process um, for which we now have already three people who wish to serve the council. Um, so we've got until the 25th of June, I think it is, as a cutoff date. So we've got to leave it until 25th of June, look at who we've actually got then, and then they can either come along to a, to a meeting and give us their uh, resume, so to speak, or then come to a Zoom meeting, or they can just send it to us on a piece of paper. We need to decide that. But we've certainly got three very, very definite people. Are you moment. able to tell us who they are? It's not appropriate, I don't think, at this stage, Brian. Okay. But what I think the best way forward would be when we've got everybody, when, when we've got the details yeah. of everybody, then I'll right. send a resume of everybody to, every, to all, all members. Right. Thank you. Okay. Fine. Fine. <clears throat> okay. Um, last point um, provision of an additional dog bin or rubbish bins in the village. Uh, we did talk about one being sited uh, opposite the end of the track near the um, uh, tennis club. club. Yeah, they're very anti. What is going on? <laughs> I think. Nigel, did you? Yep. Got a note from Bob saying you wanted to speak. Yeah, no, I, I, it, it was back on the last topic. Um, it, was oh, just, it was just a question about the first step that you said where we posted the notice about um, the, the position vacant on the Paris Council. I just wondered, you said there was nothing that like 10 people applied or where we required a, an election. Mm. Was there any at all or was it just the three that you're talking about? That have no, what, no, the three that I... Basically, what the notice said was that if anybody wanted to, if anybody wanted to um, call an election, yeah. um, they could do so, but they um, need to get the support of ten people. Yeah. So ten people would have had to have supported that particular application, and yeah. they had fourteen days in which to do that. Okay. Nobody came forward. So because we because we have a stir of vacancy, then we go to the next stage, which is where the council has to decide on the. Uh, the next, the yeah. next, the next move, really, if you like. And the Got it. That we on. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Nigel. I didn't no, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Beg your pardon. Um, okay. Um, do we want to debate the uh, dog bin um, uh, sighting, or do we want to make any sort of decision? We um, there's nothing. Um, um, down the end from the post office towards the A38 either. So, um, you know, it, it is... Um, I, would, I would suspect uh, not many dogs go down that, that area they? because there's no footpath. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's still rubbish down Bodies Lane. Andrea? Mm. Um, we put out one of the plastic bottles with the bin bags. They've never been to um, quite true. Don't right. come from this end. Okay, no. right. So if we concentrate on where we're thinking, then, um, um, what's your what's your feeling about it? Um, the the uh, point is, I think about it was that when we asked the tennis club, of course, we we did the we did the right thing, I think, by actually asking them what their view was. But I think we all already knew what their response probably would be. Mm. And it was exactly what we expected at the end of the day. Um, so if you ask the question, sometimes you get the answer that you mm. are probably most expecting to get. Bob? I think, Colin, there's, there's two things as well. One is we were looking at both, well, either a dog bin or, or the, more, the ordinary bin. Um, and I think Owen circulated the, the various prices which show the different costs to the council. Um, so to some extent, we're going to have to make up our mind which way we want to jump in terms of, of the two types of bin. The other thing might be worth having a word, and I guess would it be with the berries as to whether they would be willing to have it? Because the, the field that takes it down to the horse field that, that Cynthia was talking about earlier, you could possibly put it there, but we've got to be careful we don't narrow the entrance and obstruct any vehicles that need to be able to get down there. Hmm. Uh, where where would you put it then? Down the bottom by the gate itself. 
I mean, you could put it by where the finger post is pointing down to the down to the um, the footpath, which is where their path meets the pavement. I think that would be unfair on the the bungalow. Uh, um, yeah. That by the bungalow that's for sale at the moment, isn't it? I think that would mm. be rather fair. Yeah. That's um, uh, Faith Evans. It's Faith yeah. Evans. Faith yeah. Evans bungalow. Yeah. It, it, We'd get a problem there, Bob, I think, straight away. Um, that's why we discussed putting it on the verge opposite there in the first place. Take it away from anybody. Um, and I mean, they don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the, the lid keeps in uh, odours. Um, just because they're there doesn't mean to say that there's a huge smell around them all the time. Um, and it would be easier to empty if it's adjacent to the road. Um, perhaps we perhaps we need to go and look at that area in greater detail and see if we can cite it that that is, you know, a, a, as far as we can away from the tennis club boundary uh, and the next property along. Um, come come up with a definite site. Happy to do that if someone wants to join me. Yeah, I'm quite happy to do that with you. Yeah. So, so shall we leave it rather than debate it now that Brian and I will go and have a look at the area and come back to you with some suggestions? Are you happy with that? And then we can make a decision. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you. Okay. Is that all right with everybody else? Will you? Yeah, nothing's speak? happy with that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We'll do that then. Okay. Um, are there any newsworthy items to go to press at all, Owen? We're pretty Not quiet. Aware of. It's been a bit quiet on the news front, really, uh, on that sort of thing. Anyway, um, yeah, okay. I'm not sure there's, there's anybody else has anything to offer. Um, I certainly don't okay I, I heard a cuckoo the other day <laughs> oh yes i have heard a cuckoo okay um Must, uh, hand up. sorry sorry warwick go on go on yeah, just one thing um i noticed uh, when i was looking around at commercial property um that the um the hairdressing saloon and the um the bungalow and everything's all up for sale Oh, is it? Right. Again. So, um, potentially that might be a, a place for the uh, a shop or a new post office because it was a post office in Edwardian times, wasn't it? I yeah. think. Okay. Sorry for a dog bin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Think, Matt, we should probably need a mid meeting actually because there is another planning application in. So we will probably need a mid mid month uh, meeting okay. just for that planning application. Right. All right. Okie dokie. Right, uh, Warwick. Any matters to, uh, report? Any any other business? No, nothing from me. Nothing. Andrea, from me. No. Brian. No, nothing. Well, nothing at all. Yeah. No, Cynthia? nothing. Bob. Bob. Just a couple of things to mention, Colin. Um, one was a question I was about Has anyone noticed whether all the cardboard has now gone down on Burton yes. Row or is it still? Yes, it has. yes. excellent. Okay, yes. and the, the second thing was just to say I have copied some correspondence to Owen. We've been trying to chase up getting the post box back that's disappeared from Burton Row, so mm -hmm. um, that's, that's being chased at the moment. I'm told oh, it was damaged, but um, hopefully, it'll get put back. Okay, John, any other? Any matters? No, no. Nigel? No, all good, thanks. Okay, and there's nothing from me, so I wish you all a very good evening and thank you very much indeed. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.